Chris Young here from HomeKit Geek. It's been a big week for Apple. Uh, there's been a bunch of stuff that's happened. The iOS 12 release hit, as well as the Mac OS Mojave release just happened. And that's good, right? There's new devices, um, new functionality, all that stuff is good. One of the things that I'm particularly interested in is the port of the Apple iOS Home app over to Mac OS Mojave. Before we jump in, I wanna say one thing, which is to remind everybody, we had nothing before. We had nothing, no way to control our Apple HomeKit homes on our Mac OS, on our MacBooks, our MacBook Airs, whatever. We just had nothing. So um, this is a port of the iOS app and it is missing some key features. So I'm not gonna be moving over to use this um, a lot right now, but I expect to see a lot of improvements here in the next year. So let's take a look. So as you can see here, it's the Apple Home app, right? You've got cameras there at the bottom, you've got your favorites. You, can, uh, you cannot double click, you can right click and view the camera, and that will then connect to the camera, you're gonna be able to see this live. So at least, you know, we can get some of this stuff on our desks so we don't have to kind of get a notification and shift focus. Of course, the camera quality is gonna depend on the camera itself, right? So that is the uh, Logic Circle running at 720p, because uh, it has issues at 1080p, so go figure. Right, um, I can click around, I can see the status details, um, I can see the, the various devices that I have. I could tap on that and turn it on or off. So it's a lot of the basic functionality is here. I can look at the controls. That was a right click. Um, and through that, I get more granular controls. I can adjust the brightness. I can adjust the color here. Um, I could right click and go directly into settings or I can go back into controls and in the top right, you got settings there as well. You can change the name, you can change the room. Again, all those kind of controls, group with other accessories, all the stuff you would expect to see in there. But I said there was some things that was missing, right? So what's missing? Well, if I click on the plus button, I can add automations and scenes, but I can't add devices. So uh, that's kind of strange, right? Um, inability to add devices in here. So that tells me it's definitely not gonna be the primary interface, right? I can't add new accessories. So I've got um, my rooms, I can adjust my rooms, I can adjust my automations. So there, you know, that's in there, that's nice. Um, I can add new automations and I get the, the generic kind of Apple HomeKit way of adding new automations. Again, that's nice. So one of the other things that I have heard some um, people say, well, I can't edit the screensaver. And it's a little strange, right? Um, I don't know if this is the new way of doing things. But you're going to go into the edit home, you're going to go down to the bottom, and you'll see here I have home wallpaper, and I could turn it blue, and I could turn it green. And then I have, if I kind of drag over to the left, I have this last one here where I'm, I'm clicking on it, but nothing is happening, right? So that was a little bit weird for me. So the trick here is you actually have to drag an image on top of that icon for it to be able to um, adjust your your wallpaper, right? So if I go over here off screen and I grab a photo and I drag it on screen, and you can see now that the picture has become the wallpaper, right? There's uh, not not anything really more than that here. So first impressions are, meh, it's better than nothing, right? Um, it was a port of the iOS app. That's it, there's, there's nothing wowing in here, but it is better than nothing. We had nothing before. Um, but realize that there is, there's some key features missing. We don't have the ability to add new, new accessories in. Um, it's a work in progress. The interface is, honestly, it feels a little clunky. Um, I'm not, we'll see how I, how I adjust to it over time, but right now, eh, but again, better than nothing. It gives you the ability to, uh, control your house on your, on your laptop, which is nice. Um, I can see, you know, maybe I can see my uh, cameras without having to switch contacts and go over to my iOS app, to my iPad or my iPhone, right? So that's nice. But other than that, it's better than nothing. So I want to know your opinion, though. What do you guys think? Is this a big deal? Is this something that you see yourself using? Or are you still going to reach for your phone? Um, let me know in the comments below. Questions, if I've missed anything, definitely put them down there. I'll get back to them as quick as I can. Likes and shares, always appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to learn how to make your house just a little bit smarter using Apple HomeKit, please check in the video details. There is a link and a coupon code to my Udemy course. Thanks.